Hello my people, this, I am back. This video is going to be a product review on this bad boy. It's the oil free, oh, can you see that? Oh Jose, can you see? Oil free acne wash, redness soothing, gentle scrub. Which is the sister product to this. Which I hate so damn much. And this is it. As you could tell I used the majority of it. I only have like a little bit left. Okay. I bought this in CVS. I paid $8 and I think 39 cents for it. It has 4.2 flow ounce. Um, it says on the back, with naturally soothing aloe and chamomile, this gentle scrub powerfully clears away breakouts and blackheads without over giant and visibly reduces redness caused by acne. Unique formula calms irritation while gently microbeads soothe away roughness. Skin looks and feels clearer, smooth, and healthier. One true thing, it does leave my skin after I wash it, does leave it that soothing, smooth sensation to it. So I keep on doing like this, like ooh, ooh. This is how it looks like. It's not gel-like, it's more like a cream. Oh, oh, that was water that just came out because I just took it out the shirt. Oh crap, I hope it didn't get on my keyboard. Okay, I'm going to show you as much as I can of it without it spilling. So, come on, come out, come out. It's like crap. Come out. See, it looks like that. I don't know if you can see it that much. See, it looks like that. And it does, if you look real closely, I don't know if my camera can pick up on it. It does have little mini micro beads in it. It's like these green little micro beads. You feel it when you're washing your face with it. And my experience with the product. Okay, people, let's get real down to it. Um, one thing I should warn you about is that never use this product and then use this on top of it. It says gentle scrub and it says to uh, cleanse twice, you, they said you could use a cleanse twice a day, wet face, apply to hands, add water, and work into lather. Massage, massage face gently, rinse thoroughly. Don't put it with this and this because it burns the heck out of your skin. I don't know why, but with me, after I put the cleanser and then I use the scrub, it burns me for some reason. I don't know why. And then I feel like if I just use the scrub on my skin alone by itself, I feel like my skin is not clean enough. So, it's like damn if you do, damn if you don't. If you use it with something else, it burns. If you use it by yourself, it makes your skin. And then it leaves like that oily, shiny look on your face like you haven't washed your face, face at all. So it makes no sense. So I'm looking like, I come out the shower and I pat dry my face and I'm looking like, it looks like I didn't even wash my face. It makes no sense. So, that I don't like. I mean, have I seen it prevent breakouts? I can't pinpoint exactly because I, I was using both products at the same time. So, I don't know if it was just the cleanser that was preventing the breakouts. Or was it just the scrub that was preventing the breakouts. But I think it was the cleanser, which was this that was preventing the breakouts because the scrub, which is this, I was only using probably once every three to four days. I didn't use it every day because I noticed it irritated my skin so I stopped and then I started using it every other day but then that wasn't working so I used it like every three to four days. Sometimes it got to a point that I only used it once, the, once a week. So I don't think it prevented or I cleared away breakouts, so I don't think it's really worth the money. And it's pretty small. I mean, it did last to me. I was using it for almost a month, and this is how much I had left. So I was using it every. Now this is how small. It's about the size of my hand, from the tippy tops. It's like half, not even my whole palm. 
it's like that big. So I use it like every three to four days and this is how much is left. So I'm pretty, it'll last you a while. Like I like to put a lot on and then like work it in. That's just me. I don't use like the pea sides drop because I feel like it doesn't do my whole face like that. And let me think. Oh, the smell of it. I don't know if I'm going crazy or not. Maybe because of school. But the smell of it. Let me open it. The smell of it reminds me of children's medicine. It smells like Dimatap? Or Robitussin. It smells like, wait, it smells like Robitussin for sore throat, for cough. I don't know, it's like the grape one. That's what it smells like. I don't know if I'm just losing my bird or not, but somebody do me a favor, somebody watch this video, buy the product, don't buy the product just to smell it. Or maybe just buy the product just to use it on your face, but buy the product, test it out, and tell me if I'm losing my mind because it does smell like Robitussin. And then if you agree with me or don't agree with me, just post a comment down there because I tell people it smells like Robitussin and they think I'm just losing my mind. Really. But... That's the main thing I wanted to tell you guys, that it does smell like Robitussin. It doesn't smell like chamomile. I don't smell aloe in it. You know, it says naturally soothing aloe and chamomile. No, I don't smell it. I can smell it in the other one, but I can't smell it in this one. So, yep. Oh, one thing I should tell you. It says oil-free it, on the product. It does, it does say oil-free. I should add this in. I'm so sorry. Is this oil free? It really is oil free. Like it doesn't leave your skin over drying. It doesn't leave your skin greasy. Well, it does leave your skin a little greasy, but it doesn't leave it over drying. That's one thing I could say about this product. It doesn't leave it over drying. It just leaves that kind of greasy look to it. Yeah. So good. Uh, kind of bad product maybe for my skin I don't know maybe for your skin it may work may not work but if, if you tried it or you know know somebody that's tried it hey post comments down here I want to hear stories baby stories I want to know how you guys think of the product because I could post a million one videos who knows maybe it will hit somebody's lives it got to so I hope this has helped you guys in picking which cleanser and or scrub is for you. And I'll speak to you later, okay? Bye.